Little Orange Plum. Hello everyone, welcome to Little Orange Plum. Today we are looking at a little subreddit called r slash neckbeard. So starting off, uh, obviously for those of you who don't know, uh, where have you been? Uh, neckbeard obviously is referring to uh, pretty much any very nerdy, geeky guy who does not respect himself enough to practice proper hygiene and has some very weird ideas of how to pursue girls, as well as quite often a neckbeard. And starting off we have, <clears throat> let me say this with the proper emojis, disgusting, ass, pedo, mf, anime, neckbeards, why her? Who thought this was a good idea? She's literally a child. Um, it's always a good thing when we have that as the title of a post. Let's take, oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna have to draw some censor bars, I think, possibly. I think they have tried to censor it a little bit, but yep, yep, that's... Ew, I can't look. I'm, I'm taking that... I'm, no, I'm, <laughs> I wanna... Discuss, but I can't look at it long enough to discuss. Yep, definitely an anime who is supposed to be drawn with some very childlike features. Uh, fortunately, this is not one that I follow. I love it when the creepy ass shit that's posted on the internet ruining stories for people is not one of the stories that are ruined for me. I love it when it's not my story for once, because so many times it's my favourite characters that are being sexualised in some very creepy ways and just... I'm sorry to the people who follow this fandom that they have done this to this poor child. But yay, it's not me for once. That's all I can say. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy it's not one of my ones for once. But yes, obviously another regular trait of our neckbeards is the tendency to pursue very young girls. And then act like it's surprising when people treat them as though they are creepy. Oh, poor me, I am such a victimised, innocent little neckbeard pursuing all of the children and the little girls. Clearly, I am the one who is being victimised when I, a fully grown adult man, pursue a little girl. Sexually. You poor thing. You poor dear. Anyway. Next, moving on to I Have No Words. Again, these titles are so promising. I'm, it's another screen that I'm going to have to go into to get it to load. Is this another not safe for work one we have? Brown Snuggle Bear sends the message Aloha Milady Is this satire? I, seriously? My oh my you are superly duperly drop dead jaw droppingly beautiful How art thou this fine day a my fair maiden I'm sorry, but this has to be a joke. This has to be satire. I, I refuse to believe that any man is so detached with the reality that he genuinely sent this as anything other than a joke. I'm, I have to. I have to. I am an optimist. I am looking on the bright side. I am presuming that it is a joke because the the other option is just too terrible to imagine. It has to be a joke. It has to be. But, um, yeah, there's your classic every single neckbeard stereotype and total cringe, but gotta be a joke. It's gotta be satire. I, I am being, I'm thinking positive. I, I choose to believe it's satire. We have, he posts this crap every day. <clears throat> the ultimate self-destruction dating women. Of course, it's the Joker. Every incel's favourite movie. <laughs> just. Um, yeah, it's just, just, just. I just hope it's a teenager. I really hope this was sent by a teenage boy who has been hurt. He's gotten a little emotional boo boo from his first ever girlfriend, and that this is not a fully grown adult ass man posting this kind of cringe because, dude. We all got dumped one time or another. <laughs> Doesn't mean that this suddenly becomes not cr total cringe. Just, just, we're being optimistic today. He's probably a teenager, okay? I've, I have decided. Looking on the bright side. Probably just very young and very naive. 
we hope. <clears throat> we then have this is under a cat video. Can we, can I see the cat? Oh, there's no cat. This is sad. Anyway, guys, I'm shaking. I'm fucking shaking. I never wanted to breed. I have to. I have to stop and do this again in the voice. Guys, I'm shaking. I'm fucking shaking. I never wanted to breed with anyone more than I wanted to breed with female Johnny Test. That perfect curvy body. Those bountiful breasts. What the fuck? Are you going to eat this girl? Uh, uh, guys, run. Potential cannibal alert. Run for your lives. He wants her bountiful breasts. Um, The child borrowing hips of a literal goddess. It honestly fucking hurts knowing that I'll never mate with her. Ew. Just ew. Pass my genes through her ew. And have her birth a set of perfect offspring. Why are you sexualizing the birth of your per per perfect offspring? Just ew. Just ew. I'd do fucking anything for the chance to get female Johnny Test pregnant. Anything. And the fact that I can't is quite honestly too much to fucking bear. Why would Scott Fellows create something so perfect to tantalize us, fucking laugh in our faces? Honestly, guys, I just fucking can't anymore. Fuck. Dude, some thoughts belong in your head. I can't. It's just so icky. It's just so icky. You ever get that feeling that some guys really, really, really want to have a kid with a woman because they're just so desperate to trap her? And there's a part of them that recognizes that literally tying a woman down and holding her hostage is creepy. So they're just going to use legal means that they can use to trap a woman, you know, making her have a baby with her, him so that she feels obligated to at least try to make it work with him for the sake of her child. Like, I'm, I'm getting a trappy hostage taking me vibe. I don't know why. There's just something about the whole I'm desperate to get her pregnant thing and the whole let me mate with her as though she's livestock. Like you you want to use sex as a weapon to make her be trapped with you. It's kind of creepy dude. It's kind of ew. And again I'm getting cannibal vibes. Hello bountiful breasts. That's bounty as in like isn't that usually like a harvest? It's bountiful harvest. I, I, am I wrong in thinking that that's usually a food thing? This is I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting a creepy, cannibalistic, trappy Jeffrey Dahmer's kind of a vibe from him. Um, I think I need to move on because there's no damn cat. I was promised that this was under a cat video and they did not show the cat video. I am sad about the lack of cats. Very sad. Anyway. So, I'm a 15-year-old pageant girl and this, tried, um, this dude tried to follow me on my Insta. Ah. Please be satire. Like, I, I, I want to choose to believe that this is a joke. We have a Christian banjo-plucking, guitar-picking, tap-dancing, first-degree, black belt, tie-wearing, whip-cracking YouTuber that goes to UNA. Normal, right? Oh my gosh, guys. Guys. He's not like the other boys. You know how you get those girls who are not like the other girls? They they don't like pink and they don't like girly things. They're not like the other gir girls. I do believe we found a neckbeard who is not like the other boys. You see, um, he's a black belt. Um, you know, he has so many hobbies. He's not like the other boys. You know, I mean, it's kind of a thing that mo um, most of the people in my generation and the younger one have at least thought about trying to make her YouTube channel for shits and giggles or just to give a go at least once. A lot of them have some pretty cringy videos up. Um, Christian, most common religion. Most people have tried to learn musical instruments. I mean, you never said you were amazing. You never showed you were amazing at musical instruments. You just said you'd picked up one and tried to play. You're a guitar plucking, picking guy, tap dancing. No actual claim to be good at tap dancing. Literally the only thing he's claiming to be any good at is the martial arts, which, um, which martial arts? Um, and also, where did you train? Because some places, some, I, I, I don't, I don't know about everyone else, but if you've, um, looked into martial arts, you've probably heard the term McDojo. 
You know, those places where you can basically buy a black belt? <laughs> Doesn't mean you're any good at fighting. But yeah, you're special. You're not like the other guys. And also, again, with the creepy pedo thing. She's 15, dude. Why are you following random strange girls who are 15-year-old beauty pageant con um, girls on Insta? Because, like, I'm sorry, but guys, as a general rule, like, the only men who I do not do not personally know from my life who try to follow me on my Insta, um, guys who are trying to slide into my DMs in that sexual way, and um, guys who have a professional reason, like, um, as I say, I'm a I work in the entertainment in industry, so I get, you know, dancers, choreographers, videographers, photographers, directors, people like that trying to follow me because they think it might be helpful to their career to have me as a contact. They're genuinely going to follow me and not be creepy. Every other guy who's a random stranger who wants to follow me on my Instagram, either he's like a desperate wannabe YouTuber slash musician slash social media influencer slash wannabe making his own business out of t-shirts entrepreneur who really wants my support and hopes I'll follow his stuff or he's sliding into my dms in that sexual way so um boy all I can say because she's waiting for to see what happens next there is um in the comment section there's no further action taken just trying to follow her but on a private account apparently um so all I can say is I hope you get that message following up with, Hi, I'm a photographer. Do you need headshots for your pageant? Or that other message that goes, Hi, I'm an aspiring musician. Please look at my music. Because otherwise it's going to be some creepy ass, pervy stuff. It's like, dude, you're not like the other guys because you're probably not a little girl. <laughs> anyway, let's finish it up with... M MLP still sucks. <sighs> This was reposted from Virgin vs. Chad. We have My Little Virgin vs. SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, Sponge Chat SquarePants. <sighs> and this is a supposed Chad who's wanting to make fun of the supposed incels. Methinks you are compensating, OP. But okay, so we have the mascot of the neckbeards doesn't have cool, um, have any cool games. Annoying ass theme song has no good memes. To be fair, there I have not seen any good games or memes coming out of My Little Pony. I like that song. Okay, um, who the fuck voices the main character? Don't know, but they have some very good voices. Um, the um guy who's basically like Q in that show is basically Q. Okay, he's a good actor. And then reforms villains are supporting characters because they're too fo um, too pussy to kill them up. Some of us believe in a reform system of um, justice, not just killing the bad guys. So I support teaching children that sometimes people can change. That's a good message, I think. Uh, Chris Chan's favorite show, no clue who that is. Uh, got a movie no one likes. Bullshit. Some people like it. Fans think it's deep. Untrue. As a fan, I do not think My Little Pony is that deep. I just think it's fun and kind of cheesy and kind of entertaining and pretty decent as far as a kid's show goes. Has not met any cool celebrities. That's not something that makes you a good or valuable person. You're not contributing to society by having met a celebrity. You are not bettering yourself by having met a celebrity. You are not in any way impressive yourself for having met someone who is impressive. What the fuck? Had to look up this bitch's name to draw her. Hmm? Target's audience is little girls. Again, methinks you are compensating for something because you are in order. Already, let me start this sentence again. You already have to define your masculinity as being different from and absent from femininity and otherwise putting people down. People who are really that strong, who have that much character, and who are that great, don't need to put others down in order to make themselves feel strong. Okay, it's it's, it's a very simple concept. There are strong men who are strong um, because of who they are as themselves, and then there are assholes. Ass there are assholes who need to beat women down in order to feel big and strong. You are that asshole because you needed to beat down My Little Pony for being targeted at little girls. <laughs> you know. And also, I had to look up this bitch's names to draw her. 
How can you forget Twilight Sparkle? That is the most ridiculous name ever. If you can <laughs> have to um, can manage to forget Twilight Sparkle, then like you dumb, you dumb, because it's it's well, it's a pretty memorable name. I mean, hello. How many times do you hear the the, the lead character of this show is called Twilight Freaking Sparkles? That is ridiculous. That is a silly name, and that is why I remember it. Then on the other side, we have Mascot of both Millennials and Gen Z. Not totally untrue, it's fair. Spongebob is a great show as well. Love a bit of Spongebob. Got a platformer so good it was remastered 17 years later. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. Theme song engraved to the heads of me. Again, fair. It, it's a great theme song. Literal gold mine of quotable moments and, mo and memes. True. Uh, Single-handedly made um, Tom Kenny famous. Uh-huh. So... If he's that talented, he shouldn't have needed it to be famous. Plankton equals 1% evil, 99% hot gas. <sighs> That's not... Th see, this is where it becomes bullshit, because when did I ever see a, char a villain get killed off in Spongebob? Fucking never. And you can say it's because their villains are not that dangerous. Okay, so there's no real threat in Spongebob. It doesn't work as a drama and also doesn't have, is too pussy to make a statement, either reform or kill villains, and just has an ineffective villain. So, um, your point on the My Little Pony stance is not valid. Also, got a mo movie everyone likes, untrue, it did not get 100%, although it was good. Fans know it's just a silly cartoon, most fans of My Little Pony know it's just a silly cartoon, honey. Yes, there are the crazy, creepy guys who are obsessed with it, but... Like, that's not the majority of the fandom. Um, has met fellow chads such as David Hasselhoff, can you, can I, get, get Matrix Boy, I can't say the name, and Snoop Dogg. Um, again, just because they're impressive, it doesn't make you impressive. Just because they're cool and they've done shit with their lives, it doesn't mean you're cool and you've done shit with your life just because you've met them. So, um, your point is invalid. And then only uses, used a picture of Spongebob to get the colours I couldn't draw perfectly him without it. What? You didn't draw it very well anyway. Uh, and the fact that it is memorable, and the fact that you have watched Spongebob and can remember Spongebob, but you have not given My Little Pony a chance and can't remember it means, you know. Also, target audience are both children and adults. Do you think girls are equivalent to being children? That's creepy. And I think the reason why this guy feels the need to attack neckbeards and incels so much is because you have a lot in common with them. You just implied that all women are like children. I'm sorry, but that's some pervy-ass pedo thing to be thinking, to be thinking that your sexual opinions of women doesn't in any way cause you to think of them as being any way less childlike. That's, that's, ew. That's just yuck. So, <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, great. As I say, you gotta love a post where a guy is trying to bash someone else but accidentally reveals everything that's wrong with him in the process of attacking someone else. Well done, boy. But anyway, that's where we're gonna finish for today. Um, so that was, that one was posted, as I say, as a repost from Virgin vs. Chad. It is up on r slash neckbeard. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the rest of r slash neckbeard, follow the subreddit, it's pretty entertaining. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.